Hey YouTube, this is Southern Purple One. I'm gonna bring you another power box. Uh, a few days ago, I discussed uh, where you could go to, to look at some power boxes, and I've discussed a few other brands. Uh, I'm gonna give you another selection here. Um, this is the Pecron E2000. If you remember, probably six months, maybe even eight or nine months ago, I did one on the Pecron uh, E3000. It was a great unit. It had over 3,100 watt hours in the system, but it had the lithium ion battery. And I love the lithium iron phosphate, the LifePo4. I think it's a better battery. And most of the experts out there will tell you that. Um, the iron phosphate is a little bit heavier, but I think you get a much better battery. That's why I uh, gave that a negative rating in the sense of that one thing. But overall, that unit was great. I still use it every day in the shop uh, to power the lights, to power all my little equipment. Um, because as you know, I have no grid power in here. So I use power boxes for right now. So let's talk about this Pecron. Um, this was sent to me absolutely free. I paid nothing for it. I was excited to get it because the information they sent me said this was going to be expandable. You were simply be able to add other battery banks to it that's designed for this system. Um, and each one, I think, was 3,000 watt hours. So you could bring this system up um, from the a little less than 2,000. This one's 1,920 watt hours. You could add the two accessory banks to it, um, and you could bring it up to 8,000 thousand watts of power i was excited i said that is awesome this is going to be another one uh that can be recommended to people now the reason i'm still keeping up with these battery boxes after i found a couple that i like because i'm afraid the uh, logistical system one day might collapse even further or some of the other ones that i like won't be available people will wait too long something catastrophic will happen in the economy or in the world and everyone will be rushing out to buy panels rushing out to buy these solar boxes so i like to have a, some variety so if the first couple ones i really love are not available I, I still know some good makes and models and that's why i'm still doing it um so i have that information to give to you i've already tested it and i continue to test all of these so if i find a problem uh, i can tell you about it so this is the e2000 it has 1920 watt hours in the battery it does have a 2000 watt inverter so you have no problems running your refrigerator freezer in your kitchen uh, it has a pure sine wave inverter in it it also will surge up to 4000 watts so it covers all the basics to keep your refrigerator running in your kitchen now this is a lifepo 4 battery so it will have a 3000 cycle life now after 3000 cycle it's not going to be garbage what it'll do is it will reduce the capacity of the battery down to 80 percent of the original so it's still going to function fine for you but to be honest with you i don't think many people are going to run through 3000 complete cycles I've also read that the LiPo 4, and this can go up to 3,500 before you start losing. So it doesn't matter. We're going to go off the lower number that I've done the research on and says 3,000. So charging, a, charging one of these for preppers are important. If you just take it camping, it's not a big deal. But for preppers, we want to be able to charge this quickly um, because we might not have the availability of the sun. And without the availability of the sun, we're going to have to use a generator or just wait for the sun to come out. So it does come with one charger. This is the charger. It's pretty heavy duty. It has its own little fan in there. And there's two plugs. This thing has been built just like its other 3000 with two separate MPPT chargers. These are rated at 600 watts each. So you get one with the system and for a little bit more money you can buy a second one so that what that will do is you can actually charge using two at the same time so if you're going off of your generator because you have no sun you can charge it very quickly typically with one of them if you take this thing and bottom it out down to zero it's going to take you uh, anywhere from three and a half to four hours to charge which is not bad uh, for this size battery. Now, if you're using two of these, you're going to be able to reduce that time on that generator to one and a half to two hours, which is very respectable. That's what I'm looking for because I don't want to have to run a generator a long time and waste a lot of gas. I want to do it quickly and get this thing back up and running. The best bet is to use solar panels. Um, 
and this will come with the necessary cables so you can connect it right in and you can run a total of 800 watts using 400 watts in each of the MPPT chargers. So it comes with the cord and these are MC4 connectors as standard uh, on the solar panels that you would buy. So you have no problems charging it rapidly even outside uh, with enough panels you can charge it very quickly. Um, this thing is heavy. This is about 48 and a half pounds. Um, so it is a two man person carry unless you know you're the Hulk and you can just carry it. I have no problems carrying it for short distances at all, but very easily two people can carry uh, this very easy. Um, what else can I say about this? This is a pass through technology. That is a must in my book, a must for preppers. What that means is I could be putting power into it either by the grid power. I could put it in by solar power and I could be taking power out. Now normally you using this you wouldn't have grid power but if I'm charging it with my generator I can also be using the power that's called pass through it flows right through. Some and most of the more expensive ones have the feature so this one does have the feature. Um, th this one I was very 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 excited to get it because it's expandable. Um, I've been waiting a few extra weeks to review it because I have not found the information out about the expanded batteries. I don't think they're being made right now, or if they're being made, they're not being advertised. I checked Peckrun's uh, storefront, their website, can't find anything on it other than it's just some general information about ex being expandable. They show a picture of it. Uh, I checked Amazon, I've checked everything I can, and I cannot find that battery. That's why I've put this off. But I have to do the review. Um, so. As soon as I find out this battery is available, I'm personally going to buy it. I, I, I like the unit enough um, that I will buy that and test it out because I want to be able to give you a good answer. Because when you pair two more batteries with this, uh, you have a very, very good system. Um, so hopefully they come out with their battery. So right now I can't recommend you go buy this because we don't even know if the battery's going to come out. They say it's going to come out, when it's going to come out. And if you're wanting to buy this and expand it, uh, I would wait. I'll be honest with you. I've given the company a long enough time uh, to get that out. You know, they publish it as expandable, but they don't give me any information. So this unit is an excellent unit. Uh, I had no problems with it. I just want to check the expandability, how it works, um, and to make sure it's going to do good for you. So overall, an excellent unit. Is this my top pick? No, it's not my top pick. But it's a very respectable unit. Um, so if, if you can't find another unit that is, is good out there, uh, when crunch time comes, definitely look at the Pecron um, 2000. But as soon as I get that battery, I will personally buy that as soon as I can. I will test it for you and I will get back with you. Um, but I appreciate Pecron sending this to me. Um, I appreciate the opportunity to represent their company uh, and this has everything on the front. I could go into it, but there's no plug on here that you're going to be lacking from your cigarette plug to all USB ports. This are for your electrical 110 and 120. You then have all your charging capacity. There's nothing missing on this unit. It has everything I need. It has LifePo 4 battery. It has the pure sine wave inverter. It has pass through um, and it has every feature that I'm looking for for the prepper. I hope this helps. If you've got any questions, let me know. If you're getting to the point of buying one, please contact me. I will personally talk to you on the phone and we can pick out the best one for you. Thanks for watching.